So how many grams of carbohydrates should you have in a single meal? Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. I always have those patients who come into my office and are like, you know, give me specifics. How many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats should I have in a meal? What calories? You know, what's saturated fat? You know, what should I be looking for? Make me a meal plan that I can follow to a T. But really, and quite honestly, I'm, I consider myself a very healthy person. I'm at a good, healthy weight. I exercise, my muscle mass is great. My labs are great. I just took them a couple months ago. And I consider myself a, a fairly healthy person. And I do not do that. I do not track my carbs. I don't track what I eat. I don't keep calorie count. And I definitely don't know how many grams of carbs I have in every single meal specifically. I have a general idea because I'm a registered dietitian, but I don't track that. And so I do the same for my patients. I keep it very simple. The idea is, you know, I'm not here to give you another part-time job. I understand you have a lot going on with your health. You have a lot going on with your family and your work and your friends and your kids or grandkids. I get that. And so this idea of giving you this extra job to do for the rest of your life in order to stay healthy is one that's very defeating. It's very defeating to me and it's very defeating to my patients. So what I always say is it's not so much the grams of carbs you have in every meal. And disclaimer, warning, again, I speak very generally because I don't know all of you watching. I don't know all your labs and medical history and medications and background so i'm speaking very generally for type 1 or severe type 2 that you're on insulin you do unfortunately need to know the amount of carbs in a meal we'll get to that in a later video or you can click the link below to learn more but you're only in that position because you've been eating the wrong foods and there's other lifestyle factors environmental factors but there is still hope for you. If you're severe type one or severe type two, you can still reverse a lot of the damage and reverse a lot of those symptoms, get off a lot of that insulin and make food your friend again. But right now what I'm speaking on can still help you, those severe type one and type two, but it is more generally for the pre-diabetic, type two diabetic, or early type one diabetic who's just getting going with, with insulin and things like that. So back to what I was saying with food, is it's really not the carb count, it's really the quality of the carbohydrates, okay? So this goes back to the idea of a whole food carbohydrate versus a processed refined carbohydrate. Classic great example is a white rice versus a wild whole grain rice, okay? Very big difference. It's gonna act very different in your body. And again, what you're gonna wanna pick is the whole food. I give this example all the time to my patients. I say, you don't really see anyone grab a big bag of apples and sit in front of the TV and just go to town and say, oh man, I just can't stop eating these apples, right? Or get a big bunch of bananas and just go to town on those bananas or you know whatever the case is, any type of whole fruit, vegetable, nut and seed, right? You don't really go crazy with those foods. You're not, you're not binging on Brussels sprouts. You're not binging on dates or, you know, you get the idea, right? How many oranges can you eat in one sitting before you feel incredibly full, okay? And the idea is that these whole foods, yes, they have sugar and carbohydrates, but they're way more complex. This gets into the term complex carbohydrates, okay? very very complex they're not just gonna have sugar they're gonna have protein and fiber and vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients they're gonna have a lot more they're a complete package which is gonna keep you full which prevents you from overeating a good way to know you're eating the wrong type of food is if you get that feeling of I just can't stop okay so Again, we can get into building a healthy plate, we can get into you know what constitutes a healthy plate, but in general, you don't really need to count your carbohydrates, okay? 
in general, you should just be looking for a complete healthy plate with complex carbohydrates, okay? Because there's only so many beans you can eat before you feel very full. There's only so much wild rice or quinoa you can eat before you feel full. If you're eating all these yummy vegetables, you know, a nice salad with arugula and spinach, and there's only so much of you can eat before you feel full, okay? So it's the idea of eating the right carbohydrates and not get worried on the grams and the calories of the carbohydrates per meal, okay? There's so much more to learn. Click the link below, learn how to meal plan, learn what makes up a healthy plate, learn what foods to avoid so you can reverse your diabetes symptoms, so you can beat your diabetes, you can avoid a host of complications. And again, speaking to the type one and the severe type two who are on insulin and tons of medication, there's still hope. You can better manage what you eat in a day so you can get off a lot of that medication. And even for type ones, if you understand what you're eating, if you know how food affects your body, you're gonna get off a lot of insulin. On top of that, you're gonna help the insulin work more efficiently in your body. So super important. Share this with people who need to hear this message. Click the like button and as always have a wonderful day.